Lauderdale is one of the world's leading destinations for rainbow travelers. There are dozens of gay-owned guest houses to choose from. We're going to show you three of the top-rated resorts in the area. Welcome to the Grand Resort and Spa. This is our pool area, which is probably one of the largest pools in any of the gay resorts. It's lap swimmable, which is great. Hi, my name is Ray Zglobicki. I own the Flamingo with my partner, Chip Starkey. What makes the property special is it's the courtyard. A lot of the older buildings are like L-shaped, so we're contained and it gives you a nice, safe feeling. We have a great collection of plants and a lot of fragrant plants too, because I think fragrance is really important. So I think that if you've just got off a plane from Manhattan or Chicago and then you come here and it's like, my God, it looks like a, almost like a botanical garden. That's what you'll love about the Flamingo is the attention to details. Like every little corner you, you, you notice something. Even if you come here for a dozen times, we're always changing, we're always tweaking something and we just love it. That's our passion. What makes it really different is it's comparable to any mainstream property as far as service, as far as amenities, as, as far as the customer experience. And yet you can be in a gay environment and just be yourself. I think that's why there are people that like to come to smaller properties because if you go to a 500 room hotel, one may have a wonderful spa and wonderful amenities, but it's not that easy to meet somebody. And also, because we're all gay, there is an extra comfort zone, if you like, an extra security that people feel that they can go up to somebody else and say, hi, how are you? Whether you're single or attached, you'll have plenty of opportunities to mingle with other gay travelers. We really get a great group of people, like the past few weekends, everybody bonds together. We have a cocktail hour every night from 5.30 to 6.30. It's a nice way everyone mingles, gets to know each other. Guests are always going off and out, out to dinner together and, you know, going out at night and they make friendships. This is basically our home away from home. It makes us feel comfortable. They have a wonderful staff, you know, and you get breakfast and there's a nice cocktail hour later on, so you get to meet other people. I want you all to come and visit us here, and I want you to find out for yourself why Fort Lauderdale has become one of the gayest cities in the United States. It's unbelievable. Indulge, pamper, relax, and above all, have out-and-out -out fun in gay-friendly Fort Lauderdale.